In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. disciples to him with the Herodian saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. And that he said to them, Then we pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs. The Gospel of Pleasant good day. Today I will give you my reflection on the gospel of on the 29th Sunday of the month. It says, Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. Our life as Christians and our life as citizens of our country. The present situation, this pandemic time has been a big challenge for all of us, both in our life of faith and as citizens. We are called to the awareness of our responsibilities, again, as Christians and as persons. How then we can balance our responses to the invitation of this Sunday's Gospel? Give to Caesar what belongs to him, and to God what belongs to God. 
God is the source of our life. Our obedience to all His laws and commands is the highest response of love that we can offer back to God. It is a sign of our gratitude to all His goodness that He gives and provides us day after day of our lives. God is so good and will always good to us because of His great love to all His creatures. He remains faithful to us forever. God does not ask us for a more complicated responses to His love and goodness, but just simple ones which He knows and sure every one of us can fulfill. Number one, respect and care for one another as His beloved children. A very simple gesture of charity toward one another, maybe a smile, a greetings, and a kind words of encouragement or an affirmation and appreciation that can lift up one's feelings and emotions that can lead them to become a more positive, happy person. Little simple sacrifices, sharing of resources, listening ears, spending time to listen and share with one another. Is this not giving back to God what belongs to Him? Patience and understanding to give hope especially to our brothers and sisters who are in distress. Forgiveness is the highest form of returning to God the example that He has done to us. The salvation of the world. He suffered and died for us to redeem us from our sins. Again, is this not to give back to God all the goodness He has done for us? God does not ask us to pay Him back. It is our initiative to show our gratitude and gratefulness to all that He has done to us, His children. What return can I make to the Lord? for all His goodness to me. As citizens, especially in this time of pandemic, our obedience to what we are asked to do to avoid the spread of coronavirus, wearing masks and face shields, especially in crowded areas or public places, the possibility of not going out if unnecessary, physical distancing, these are just simple things we ought to do for the good of our country and our neighbors. More importantly, laws and ordinances of our country need a lot of patience and understanding, honesty and integrity, especially for all the servant leaders of our country. Also a lot of sacrifices to balance our being a child of God as a humble citizens of our country good relationship of the church and the state, obedience to the laws and ordinances both of the church and the state, is giving back what belongs to Caesar and what belongs to God. Lord God, accept our thanks to you for all the graces and blessings you are giving to all of us to be able to survive in this time of crisis. Keep us safe always and in good health. And we ask you to have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins so as we can continue to praise and thank you in return. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.